Help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps your bank information private when shopping online. Get $5 right now to try the service at PlugHitsLive.com slash privacy. Hello, Internet. I'm Scott with Plug Hits Live, part of the Tech Podcast Network. We are here at CES 2019. I'm standing in the Whirlpool booth, and I've got a washing machine behind me. We'll find out about it in just a moment. But first, go ahead and introduce yourself for me. Hi, I'm Kirsten Hoffman, and I work on the laundry team at Whirlpool. Very cool. And so, obviously, washing machines, dryers have been around for a long time. You're at CES. We must be showing off something interesting. What have we got going on this year? Yeah, so this is our full-size all-in-one washer and dryer. Yes, you can wash and dry in one appliance. Okay. Um, it is Wi-Fi enabled, so it works with our Whirlpool app. Um, okay. So it can be controlled remotely through your phone, your smartphone, your tablet, or um, some capabilities through the Apple Watch as well. Okay. We also have a partnership with Amazon Alexa and Google Home for some voice commands as well. Very cool. So I can... I can control it remotely. Can I also get notifications when I'm too far away from it to hear the little buzz that it makes? Yes, you will get notifications. And if you're not home, you can assign a task to someone else in your family to move the laundry for you. Yes, so it's a new way to send chores to people. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I can find out even when I'm not there that the, 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 the load is done. Correct. Awesome. All right, and then I can control some of the aspects of it with voice, Amazon, and Google. And uh, so other than putting this stuff in and taking it out, I don't even have to be around it. That's correct. We also have the load and go detergent dispenser. Um, so it's a canister that holds enough laundry detergent for 40 loads of laundry. So you just fill it and forget it. Uh, there's a smaller secondary one for fabric softener as well. Um, you can also uh, set that up to your Amazon Dash replenishment account. So your detergent will automatically be reordered once it senses that your levels are low. Okay. I, you and I were talking before the interview that I don't like my my laundry machine because it uh i don't have a place for either detergent or <laughs> fabric softener there's no like special place for it which means you have to just kind of pour it in and that's no good this has none of those problems and i don't have to refill it but every 40 or so loads yep that's correct that's crazy. yep <laughs> that, that's way better than every time and hoping I got the right amount and all of that. Yep, so the machine actually senses the weight of the load and will dispense the right amount of detergent so all the guesswork is taken out of it. All right, because it's all guesswork right now, so that's <laughs> so much better. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so it's, it's a game changer for sure. And I'm seeing there's a, a screen here on the top and a play and a pause button. My guess is that this works a little different than a, a more traditional washing machine. Yeah, so all the controls are actually in the touch screen. There's not all the different buttons across the control panel anymore. Um, all you have to do is select what you want to wash, and there's different options of like fabric types or based on colors, um, and it chooses the best recommended settings for you. And now you can go in and customize those and save those cycles as favorites, um, but then all you have to do is hit start, and all the settings are taken care of. It's very few buttons to push. That's great, and it it helps uh, make a, a connected device like this more accessible to people who are maybe more concerned about <laughs> technology. Just being able to have a natural interface like touch always makes things uh, a little more natural. Yeah, definitely. It's very easy to use, and uh, the picture on the screen is very bright. Now, uh, sometimes when we start getting into to smart devices or into to combo devices, they get a little smaller. What have we got here? Yep, so this is our full-size model. We do have a compact one that launched last year uh, that is 24 inches, so this is 27 inches. And the capacity on this one is 4.5 cubic feet, so you're still getting um, a space for, it. we say, around an eight-pound load of laundry. Okay. So we're not, we're not, by going into the combo, we're not losing any capabilities but we are gaining space in our laundry room. Yes, that's correct. And this unit is also ventless, so it can be installed in a closet. Uh, okay. It's great for apartments that don't have in-unit laundry. Um, very easy to install. Okay. And does it require any kind of special power, or does it run off a of 110? 
It runs on a 110. Nice. Yep. Nice. So you don't have to have the big 220 plug somewhere in the house and hope. Yep, that's correct. <laughs> that does make it totally customizable to put wherever you want. Yeah, it's, yep, all you need is the 110 and a water line. Wonderful. So what is the availability on this? When can we expect to see this on the market? Yep, so this will be coming out to the market later this year. Right. Yep. Do we have a price point yes. on it? MSRP on this one is $21.99. So a pretty normal price yeah. in, in the range there for something with all these capabilities. Yep, that's correct. Fantastic. Well, if people want more information about the product, how can they do that? Yep, so this will be featured on whirlpool.com um, under the laundry section. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. Thank you. For continuing CES 2019 coverage, stay tuned to pluckhitslive.com slash CES.